So this is the new panel. This is the old. And now I will connect them separately. This is where the trip starts and I chose this uh, venue because it is interesting. These are Bronze Age buildings. Here this is the first and that's the second one. Uh, of course the wooden part is reconstructed but the foundation is original or restored original let's have a look at the other one as well so Roughly 3,000 year old buildings. At least the foundation, of course. This road is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. Look. Beautiful forest. A lot of birds are singing. It might not seem steep on camera because uh, GoPro tends to flatten the landscape. But it's <clears throat> quite a climb. The air is much cooler now down there uh, from where I started. Uh, the heat was really oppressive. Here, however, it's almost fresh. It's very pleasant. We are not far from the summit now. It's still beautiful. It's more open now. The sky is absolutely gorgeous. What a landscape. I love it. How about the today's program? Uh, All Powers reached out to me and uh, asked me if I wanted to test one of their solar panels and I said of course why not uh, it turned out that they offered a solar panel that is exactly the same model as as the one I have in the trailer so I don't need two solar panels of course because the two together would be about 13 kilograms, about uh, 30 pounds, which is excessive. And uh, 
carrying that in my trailer would be a case of diminishing returns so nevertheless it is a good opportunity to conduct a few tests first test would be to compare how the panel that I was carrying for about a year with me let's wait until this car passes so one test would be uh, to compare the two solar panels um, the old and the new and uh, I'm really curious to see whether my old solar panel is deteriorated and the other test would be to connect these two panels in series and uh, to see if I can charge more rapidly with two panels I uh, selected for this I don't know if you can see there is a meteorological station that is the Kendig Peak that is the uh, basin from where we came up just now this is how it looks and now I'm going to set up the charging arrangement. This is the solar panel I got from All Powers. Okay, so the content of the package for this pouch is this. We have an MC4 to Anderson connector, uh, MC4 to a barrel connector, and some adapters that go to this barrel connector we have uh, some battery charging clips uh, this is the instruction manual and some silica pouches and that's about it unfortunately no charge controller is included in this package 
Here you can see both the old and new panels. The old one, which I've been carrying for nearly a year, has endured various hardships. It was dragged in my trailer on dirt roads full of potholes with all my stuff packed on top of it. It was once completely submerged in water when I tried to cross a flooded area and was exposed to strong winds and torrential downpours. You can see that the old panel shows significant wear and tear. Before the test, there is one important thing I have to mention. You'll almost never achieve the peak performance indicated on the panel. Those ratings are for ideal factory conditions, where the panels are illuminated with exactly 1000 watts per square meter. This almost never happens in real world conditions, so expecting a 200 watts performance from this panel is unrealistic. Humidity in the air or an increase in the panel's temperature will considerably reduce performance. First I connect the old panel. Now the old panel is connected. Now let's see. <coughs> So the old panel generates, I hope you can see that, around 115 watts. Now I will connect the other one. Now the new panel is connected to the controller. And let's see, 125 to 130 watts, which is actually pretty good. I wasn't even hoping that uh, the old panel fares so well. Now the both the old and new panel are connected and let's see the power generation in series and yes we have 225 watts it's been about uh, 90 minutes and uh, there is no reason to to wait any longer because as you can see the uh, state of charge is already on 94 percent again and uh, only five percent of the battery five or six percent of the battery was used now we are in for a very comfortable ride down to the car I wanted to tell you a bit of historical interest. This place, where we are now, has been inhabited for 3200 years. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the Bronze Age houses down in the valley. 
In the Bronze Age, the farmers lived below in the valley, while the nobles, with great work and effort, created a terrace structure on the mountain for their own homes here on the site of this chapel. They created, as a matter of fact, an acropolis. Around 2300 years ago, the Celts occupied this mountain and they were followed by the Romans. The chapel was built by Ovars, who converted to Christianity even before the Hungarian conquest. After the conquest, the Hungarians built a fortress here in the 10th century. The today's church was built in the 19th century on the foundations of this multi-layered history.